You're here because you want to learn about pigeon, don't you? Maybe you're into really dark, nuanced grays that have a little more complexity than you might think at first. Well, either way, this episode of Color Quickie is all about pigeon by Pharaoh and Ball. We're going to talk about this color, some of its complexities, get into some ways that I might use it in my home and maybe you can use it in yours. We'll also talk about some trim colors that you can use on your baseboards or doors in your frames. And then finally, at the end, I got three color pairings that I handpicked for this color so you're equipped with an entire color palette, all for free. Well, maybe the cost of a like button press, because that's always nice, right? So to start things off, Pigeon is a fairly dark color, not as dark as something like black, let's say. We don't know exactly how dark it is because normally paint companies tell us what's called the LRV, or the light reflectance value. Pharaoh Ball is one of the few companies that does not, so I just have to sort of make my best guess. I would probably estimate it's around a 34, 5 LRV, so kind of in the lower third of colors. And this means that you have to be mindful of where you're using it, especially on the interior side of things. Inside your home, when you pick colors that are quite a bit darker, they will seem more dramatic and perhaps a bit more polarizing depending on who you ask. Colors that are above that 50 LRV mark or on the 60s especially, they're going to be a little more forgiving because they're sort of in that Goldilocks range of not being too light or too dark for most situations. But your circumstances are going to vary and it really is just up to personal preference for most people. Now we know this color is sort of gray feeling, right? It is a neutral, albeit a darker neutral. And although Ferron Ball describes it as a strong blue gray, I tend to feel it's a little more of a greeny gray. The cool aspect that maybe reads as blue comes more so from gray rather than actual blue. I don't know the formula that Ferron Ball uses to make this color, but I do know that in real life, it's a dark, sort of earthy gray green that does lean a little bit cooler. In rooms that have maybe northern exposures or that have a lot of cooler lighting, you might start to see a little more of that blue, but not without some green as well. Now, in terms of places that I would use this in a home, it's actually pretty varied. I think if you're using this in maybe a dining area, an office, even a well-lit hallway. There are a lot of places you can put Pigeon because of its neutral aspect. It's not going to feel too vibrant or have very strong color that can pop out. It will sort of blend in a little bit, more so than a canary yellow, for example. I think it's also a very popular color for chair railings and any woodworking that's maybe on the upper or lower half of a room. So you get to see it, but it's not going to completely envelop a space, which allows for a little more light reflection if you have a lighter color up top, for example. Now, because it does have that green aspect happening, sometimes a cooler leaning one, this is a color that even though it is neutral, you still want to test it out. Make sure you're getting the right color with the right undertones that plays well with everything else in your home. Now, before we get to trim colors, I do want to touch on exterior use because I do feel pigeon is a great color to use outside. It has a lot of body to it, which means it's not going to feel washed out under any circumstances, really. So if you're looking for a deeper neutral color that's gonna play well outdoors, of course, test it out first, but this is a color to look at. And if you're using other paint companies, you can find something similar with Bear's Woodland Sage, Sherwin-Williams' Rushing River, PPG's Smoky Slate, and Benjamin Moore's Desert Twilight. These aren't perfect matches by any means, but those are at least great starting points if you're looking for similar colors. In terms of trim colors, if you're looking for baseboards, doors, and frames, all that stuff to be painted, you should be. Wimborne White would be my first choice because it is a classic, well-loved Pharaoh Ball paint color. It is a very clean, slightly warm white, although it's described as an off-white. I do find this to be a great default choice for a lot of people. And then for a darker trim color, kind of fitting that slightly cool, touch of green kind of vibe happening, Downpipe, another excellent color choice. This is one that you can use on the trim itself, or you can just have the doors painted a darker color, which a lot of people are really into these days, which is why I bring it up, but still have the lighter white framing around it so you have a nice bit of contrast. Pop, pop. But of course, you can't just paint your whole house pigeon. That'd be lunacy. I got three color pairings that I picked from Ferron Ball that you can use alongside it. The first one is one of my favorites, not just because of the name. It's James White. And this is a color that you can kind of describe as a greenish, a sort of slightly greeny beige, kind of a cream color, really. It has a lovely lightness to it. It's very airy. The green is going to be more apparent in some situations than others. It's 
largely dependent on your flooring, your lighting, surrounding colors, surrounding furniture. But if we're starting with Pigeon, which has a bit of that green as well, they're probably gonna fit together in a number of situations because they do share that common undertone. I sometimes like to incorporate James White with more apparent greens because it helps soften its appearance in practicality, which is why the next color pairing is gonna be a little more noticeable. It's called green. Teresa's Green. And this color has this sort of slightly turquoise feel, a little bit of a robin's egg blue vibe. I would say more so than Pigeon, this one tends to look a bit cooler in person, in most cases, I would say, even with warmer lighting. I also think this is a color that really shines as a somewhat sort of subtle accent color. So not necessarily enveloping a space with it, having it sort of pop out to accentuate you know, maybe a certain wall panel or a piece of furniture. That way it becomes that much more noticeable. And then the color that's gonna stand out no matter what is our real accent color. And this is Sudbury Yellow. Very much a gold, almost a mustard yellow, extremely saturated, very dynamic, and maybe a bit taxing to the eye after a while. So not something that you would wanna envelop a whole space with, especially a room that you're gonna be spending a lot of time in, because after a while, your eyes are gonna get tired from how brilliant this color is. But when used in the right circumstances and little pockets here and there, it's gonna pop like crazy. Really has this wonderful duality where it feels fresh and contemporary because of the color, but also has this undeniable traditional quality to it too. Here are the colors all together. Let me know what you think of this Pharaoh and Ball palette. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way to this video, which is picked just for you.